with WWTD this week. I want to shoot a quick video here and I want to talk about something that I've been thinking about a lot lately in terms of what propels people in this business to have more success. And thinking back kind of on my own journey, it was a little messy, but it still had some of the underlying fundamentals of what I'm going to talk about here, which is surrounding yourself with like people. The reason I say that is because it's hard in daily life to just randomly have friends or a group of people that you see on a regular basis that are submerged in the real estate, house flipping, development, building business. It just doesn't really happen unless it's intentional that that's your friendship circle or that's the circle of people that you hang out with on a regular occasion or you spend time with. You know, I'm thinking about it and I've seen so many people take their business from here to here in a really quick amount of time. And the reason being is because they surround themselves with people, they join a community of some sort to be able to not only see what's possible, but really interact with a lot of the people within the community to find out how it is they got there. And then that can expedite your journey. And so for me starting out, I did some deals with some guys that were going full bore into the fix and flip world. And that helped me see kind of how they were doing things. And then we were able to really rinse and repeat and recreate that and better that you know I think back and if I had found other people that were farther ahead of them even as I continued my journey how much quicker would it have allowed me to get to where we are today and probably beyond where we are today if that was the case so you know I think it's important that we surround ourselves with people that are doing this business and that are also doing this business at a slightly higher level or a little bit higher level than us so that we can always model what we want from those businesses put it into ours and improve our own business and situation and financial standing at the same time. So I think it's an important thing. I think joining a community of some sort, obviously there's a lot of coaching programs out there these days. That's just kind of the reality of it. But the underlying theme here is maybe not coaching program, but community, right? Some type of community, whether that happens to be coaching or whether that happens to be the DFA or it happens to be something else, so be it. But just having a surrounding of people that you can communicate with on a regular basis that do what it is that we do have been down the road that you're down and maybe some are farther in some aspects than other everybody has niches that they're better at than others right and so it's about being in a community of people that maybe are a little bit better in certain niches than you and you can take what you want from their businesses and implement it to yours and vice versa but I think being around a group like that is very very important to your success especially now in this business because back in 2010 2011 if you ran a direct mail campaign you got a bunch of leads it was almost like shooting fish in a barrel in comparison now you need to really execute things properly. You have to utilize as many little competitive advantages as possible and you have to be insanely consistent in what you're doing. And then you have to be very good at converting the leads that you get as well and knowing your market. So there's a lot of different layers there that make it so much more important, I think, now more than ever to be surrounded with people that do this business and do it every day as well so that you can you know, extract that information from them and use it in your own business. So bottom line is I think it's important that we join a community of some sort. We surround ourselves with people that are doing this business every day. If I could do it over again, I would do the same thing and probably more so, much more so. You know, you can lone wolf it in this business, but some will get from here to here. Some will fall off along the way, but those that get from here to here, they'll get there a hell of a lot faster if they're part of a community and surround themselves with people that are also on that journey. That's the one thing that I've found since we've been doing this podcast and just all the education stuff and just paying attention to people's businesses outside of my own and seeing how they grow over time. So bottom line is if you're not, I would join a community of some sort. Here's the problem with the free ones as I see it, right? Free ones, you get people into them that have something to share, but the luster kind of wears off, right? People after a while are like, why am I sharing all this? It's free, it's kind of a waste of my time. People come and go, some people take it, some people don't. So free communities over time, they rarely work. Either that or they're just filled with so many yip yappers and keyboard cowboys and it's a revolving door of newbies and it's not the greatest way to go. I wish it was for a lot of you guys, but it's not. So really finding your way to a community that's paid paid for whatever reason well there's a lot of reasons but it creates a better community it creates better information it creates better interaction and it creates better relationships that's just period the end that's the way that it is so anyway if you're in a community great if you're not i would highly advise that you find one it will do nothing but help you along your journey with real estate investing so that's this week's wftd as i always say i may not walk on water but i do walk on my own job site see you next week